Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today with me and clicking on this video. Today, we are talking TikTok crushes. Really by that, I just mean people I really, really like on the app. I don't necessarily have a crush on these people. I more or less maybe have like a talent crush on these people um, because one of them I'm going to talk about is 17 years old. So no, I do not have a crush on a 17 year old. Oh Lord. Um, these are just people I like to watch on the app and I would like to talk about them. <laughs> so please don't take anything the wrong way. I might say they're my love. They're not because I already tried to record this once and I accidentally called one of them my love and I was like that. Nope. I, that's really creepy. Uh, <laughs> so I'm very sorry. Um, I'm going on very little sleep and half a day of school and like three slices of pizza and a Red Bull. So <laughs> my words are a little jumbled. So forgive me, but I think without further ado, we just need to get into it. So up first is uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Just kidding. Um, his name is Reptilian Spy and I am going to have everybody linked down below for you. And his like popular TikTok. I was he's got like two of them. They're about the same. They're like thirst trap TikToks, but he's dressed up as a clown. <laughs> um <laughs> and <laughs> that the oh they they sure did do something to me. Um <laughs> I I adore him. Um he's awesome or okay, also, I should clarify. I don't know if some of these people go by they them. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry if I get any pronouns wrong or anything wrong. I'm not an expert on these people, so I'm sorry. But anyways, he does a lot of clown TikTok and other stuff. And uh, a few weeks ago, I was real into clown core. Ugh, I hate calling it that. That type of stuff. And I even did my own clown makeup look and I duetted one of his things. And I don't think you ever saw it. It's probably for the better, but <laughs> I adore his work. He's like a filmmaker as well. And he's just really artsy and artistic and is really good at recreating like famous movie scenes, but dressed as a clown, I guess. And, and other stuff. He does some other stuff, but I adore him. He's awesome. I tune into his live streams sometimes and uh, they're very chill and fun while he puts on makeup, at least the ones that I've been to. So check them out if you're into, I was gonna say clowns. No, if you're into like filmmaking type of like artsy, cool lighting stuff. Yeah, go check them out. Next up is a precious boy. <laughs> He is a boy. <laughs> um, also, he might go by they, them, and I'm very sorry. Oh, oh gosh. Um, sorry, I'm so sorry. But this person is named on I. This is their username is your fave boy Harry, or is it your fave? I think it's your fave boy Harry. I wrote them all down, but I'm not looking at my list because I'm an idiot. Um, I think his name is Harrison. Maybe it probably goes by Harry. I don't know. Um, and he is very popular for wearing skirts on TikTok as a boy. Um, he's got a really cool fashion sense and uh, he does, he had a really popular one just go off of him like sitting in a chair and then like kicking his leg and the transition and he was in a different outfit. That one really popped off. Um, but I think he's just gotten really popular because he's a boy who wears skirts, which I don't know if the correct title is femboy for him. There's just a lot of lingo I really don't know how to use on TikTok and the internet these days. So I'm very sorry. I'm just going to keep apologizing. But anyways, um, <laughs> oh, the garage is going off down below. But I adore him. He just is not afraid to be himself, I guess, is the, the appeal there. And it's really cool to see him express himself in skirts and just in fashion in general. And I adore him and he inspires me to do what? I don't know, because I can wear a skirt. Um, <laughs> no, but he inspires me to just kind of live life and who cares what people think of what you're wearing 
you're wearing it, it's clothes at the end of the day. So go, I would definitely go recommend checking him out because he's adorable and he has a great fashion sense. And the end. Jumping back to clowns, <laughs> one other, um, her name is Clownique. I think she goes by Curly. That's just what it says on her profile. And uh, I think she's friends and I don't, wait, she is friends. Hold on. I know she's friends with a uh, reptilian spy. I don't know if they live together or not or what it is. I think they're just friends, but they both do clown things. She is a clown as well. And she posts a lot of other things. I think she posts like some like baking videos or something. And um, she also just posts like other, <laughs> other stuff that's really helpful um <laughs> I know she also kind of does like the filmmaking thing recreating movie scenes makeup looks this and that she's really really creative and I really enjoy her content as well and she's just adorable and her clown Sona sure um is adorable so I definitely recommend go checking out her why I I'm gonna say that after everybody like no duh I want you to go check them out that's the whole point of this video <laughs> anyways Go check her out. Next up we have Skinny Pudge. <laughs> and uh, I think his name is Zach and he is, well he runs the TikTok, but he is most known for um, <laughs> uh, having a black cat whose maybe name is Zeus. Ooh. Uh, and like he'll be like, I didn't see you there. You're gonna stop without saying hello and then like pit, like the cat pops out of the box and he puts on like a cowboy hat and then it zooms in and plays an Animal Crossing song. I guarantee you, you've seen something of his on Instagram or somewhere. The videos are just so funny and he like as a person just seems really fun and I would probably get along with him and his laugh is uh, infectious. Um, he's just got a great smile and a great laugh and he loves his cat and I think he loves what he does on like the platform and in general again I don't know too much about the guy um but his videos are super funny love his cat um love his creativity and his willingness to buy all these costumes for his cat I love it so I was gonna say go check him out you already know Next, we have Too Much. Um, I think their name is Jake. And uh, he th is this guy who, again, has a cat, speaking of cats. And I, I don't know, I probably know this cat's name, but off the top of my head, I don't. But he, he's been uh, doing, I think he's been doing stuff on Instagram before TikTok. That is definitely not a fact. Don't, I have no idea, but I feel like I've seen his stuff on Instagram before seeing it on TikTok. One of my favorites of his that I sing to my cat all the time, it's the like, guess what, baby? I'm just gonna give you a treat, yeah. You don't gotta do no thing. That one's just for existing. Like, <laughs> again, I'm positive that you have seen something of his. He's just really funny. He's a great singer and, um, he just has a lot of fun with his cat and makes up songs and his cat is just along for the ride. <laughs> but I adore him and I adore his cat and I definitely, obviously I said I follow him on Instagram. Um, a lot of people I've started following on Instagram just in case something happens to TikTok. Um, I want to follow these people. I love these people. So his his comedy with his singing is perfect. Someone I just fell down the rabbit hole of watching last night, uh, his username is Dunk Can You Not, pretty sure his name is Duncan, and he ha his like popular ones are, he has like a Karen wig, and he dresses up as a Karen, he's got millions of views on all of his TikToks, and I think he has a YouTube channel too, I don't know, um, he always talks about it, but he also does like parodies of like a teen vlogger, whatever, he is so funny, <laughs> and like, I don't know his humor just cracks me up it's so fast paced and witty and it's like making fun of a stereotype I guess I mean it's like the Karen stereotype there's other stereotypes he makes fun of but it's done in such a way that it, it's so true it's funny if that makes any sense he's not malicious about it it's just it's really funny like I said he's got millions of views on his stuff you've probably seen one of the Karen skits I'm guessing but he's just really funny I, I don't really know too much about him 
he seems young. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but like, I hope he sticks with it. I hope he continues a YouTube channel. I don't know. I think he'd be really good at making YouTube skits and stuff as well. He seems really funny and uh, I wish him well. What? Is this a send off? I don't know. So <laughs> this next one, I don't, I don't like want to say her username. <laughs> This also, I don't know if this counts. We're gonna make it count. Um, so it's Maya Boyce. <laughs> I adore her. I've always loved her, but her TikTok is so funny to me. Like, it's just, she's so funny. I love her. Um, her username is Thought Destroyer. <laughs> My, I don't know. I don't know. But it's Maya Boyce, and I adore her. her sense of humor is so funny and when she brings in her mom and dad it's so funny it's so pure too so love her next one i think is on everybody's tiktok crush list it's britney broski i love her i i was never i okay kombucha girl like i wasn't like oh my god she's the funniest thing on the earth when uh when that came out and stuff like i loved the meme and everything and then i know she started a youtube channel and it took me a little bit of time to watch it but her humor is really funny and the way she laughs and just gets into every joke is so funny to me you have like i said she's kombucha girl <laughs> okay you've seen her at this point don't need to tell you twice who she is um but she's just so funny and her TikTok is really funny. The thing I related to so much was her talking about her taste in men is just like a skinny, lanky boy. She's like basically just some Slender Man. Oh, my light went out. Sorry. Slender Man. And I was like, okay, me, literally me. And she talks about it being a curse that she likes tall, skinny men. And I was like, it was literally me. Adds me to a T. But yeah, her humor is just so funny. And like I said, she just laughs <laughs> her her laugh is so funny and another one that i like i can't stop watching and i keep referencing and nobody knows what i'm referencing is um her reacting to a person uh making up slash reenacting a britney broski x uh is it post malone fanfic or something like that and like she's duetting it so if you go to her page you'll see it but the girl reading it is like talking about Harry Styles and he comes in the door and she's like hello hello <laughs> I can't stop doing that and I don't even think Ashley understands what I'm referencing so I'm just over here like hello hello for no reason um and that's I mean Brittany just cracks up at that it's just so funny to see her react and like the girl who did it props to you it's so funny it's so funny last one for this video um this lady's name is Selena Spooky Boo if I if I said it wrong I'm sorry but that's what my brain reads it as she is so funny you have probably seen her um yell about color reveal Barbies <laughs> like the ones that you dunk in water and it, and it's a Barbie um and also tie-dye. She's very passionate about tie-dye. She is amazing. I love her. I think her name is Selena, I'm gonna guess. Um, first off, her aesthetic is amazing. She, like, can dress up and also wear loungewear, and she rocks it all. She's adorable. She's so funny. She makes demon noises. She has a demon voice sometimes, and I, I that stuff is so funny to me. Um, but it's just, she's funny. She screams. I'm not pleading her case very well here, <laughs> but she also cares so much. She did a whole thing where, um, you know, you don't have to go check out her TikTok. I can't describe it because I'm not well educated, but she just raises awareness for a lot of stuff. She also has written books and she had a makeup palette. I think she had the last release of it not too long ago. I almost bought it, but then I didn't. I should have bought it, but she's just like... I guess you could say she's like an entrepreneur businesswoman. I don't know. Whatever. She's amazing. She is a boss lady and uh, very funny to boot and adorable. So I would absolutely go recommend checking her out. She is by far one of the most amazing people I have found on TikTok. And with that, I'm going to close off this little video. Um, <laughs> 
I know this is just a goofy little way for me to talk about people I love on TikTok, but so be it. I wanted to. Um, all of their TikToks will be linked down below. I adore every single one of them. I've probably said that a million times in this video. Um, again, I, I don't mean anything creepy by this video. I just like these people. And I like to watch them and it's my brain. It's not been great lately so they have been an amazing escape from the world so i i thank them and go check them out and go check out my tiktok if you'd like um it's at jenny the beast as on every social media platform i am i have a lot of fun there i've got a lot of content about to come out because i filmed a lot today <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe um leave a comment down below of what you want to see next you want to see me talk more about TikTok? Do you want to see like a behind the scenes on how I make a TikTok? Do you want to see Animal Crossing? That's what TikTok wants to see from me. Do you want to see more makeup? Are you ready for spooky season? I have a lot of questions. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!